It takes a lot for me to bring up punt returns because, quite frankly, seeing a good one makes me cringe. But when Alabama called in the Kool-Aid man to sound the ULM Warhawks hopes out like they, well, had any to begin with, you know I had to come say something about it. That's right, Saban pulled out all the stops here and punished Louisiana Monroe like the red-headed stepchild of Louisiana, taking all his anger out on them for the 2020 National Championship won by a different Louisiana team. But their punt returners had their way for four quarters with this poor ULM coverage team. They could punt it left. They could punt it right. They could punt it near the sideline. They could punt it near the middle. They could punt it high or short, close or far, and the end result was always the same. Unless that ball went out of bounds, or in one rare case, when Kool-Aid himself stepped out of bounds, they were making some form of electrifying play. And that just shows you how much lack of parity there can be sometimes in the FBS division. Because frankly, sometimes, a lot of these coverage guys didn't even look like they deserved to be on the same field with those returners as they were dip duck dodging their way to easy chunk yardage. They made it look like the coverage team was no more than some mere minor inconveniences. I mean, it's like Kool-Aid had his stats boosted this game, and I wouldn't be surprised if he did. It got so bad that they even let Kool-Aid's backups go in, Minute Maid, and Lemonade, and they were still tearing it up. It was a sad day for the brand, but honestly, those were just some phenomenal returns.